diamonds on your cheeks. Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, we are going to be going thrift shopping, which is my all-time favorite thing. I haven't gone in such a long time, so I'm super excited to be going out there also going to be going to a few new places so it'll be exciting to see new things and get a new scenery and today i'm actually on a mission to find certain things so i'm in the midst of two bedroom makeovers and so i'm looking for art and just decor and decorations to kind of put those final touches on those rooms so i'm excited to see what i can find um, but before that we're also going to go to the farmer's market which is like a smaller one that is a little bit more local and closer to me so i'm gonna go check that out and of course bring you guys along before we head out for the day and go thrift shopping i want to finish getting ready so a big thank you to anna louisa for partnering with me on today's video and thank you to them for sending me a few pieces and letting me pick those pieces out so i've been wanting to build up my jewelry collection for a very very long time um, and so thank you to them for giving me an excuse to kind of pick out some pieces. I got some earrings and a necklace. And what's good about Ana Luisa is that they have affordable prices and affordable pieces and they're very sustainable. They are 100% carbon neutral and water neutral, which is something I've never actually heard of. So that is really great and exciting to hear. All of their pieces start at $39 and they come in these packages like this. So they're good travel packages and they're magnetic so you can open them. And they kind of just like snap together like that. So one of the first pieces I got were these mini hoops. They're called mini Abbeys and they're just really chunky, huggy type of earrings. So they're like the perfect mix between a statement piece but also very subtle so I like huggy type earrings very subtle earrings but these ones can kind of make more of a statement um, because they're a little bit chunky but they're also really really small so they kind of still hug your ear and they're just the perfect dainty piece and then I also got another set of huggies and these ones have some green stones in them and what i love about them is this green green is really in right now it's such a trendy color and if you're kind of on the fence of going bold and getting a, a more substantial piece like shoes or clothing you can kind of play around with the color and get something a little bit more subtle like an earring and kind of see like how you like the color and then you can kind of dip your toes in and incorporate the color a little bit more into your wardrobe if you feel like it's something that you actually like so i think that this is kind of a perfect way to dive into trends and trendy colors without kind of going over the board and doing too much so i love these earrings i've been looking for a pair exactly like this because i'm loving that emerald green and the gold pair it together and so I was super excited when I saw this on Anna Luisa's website and I had to snag them up really quickly. I also got a very fun pair of earrings. So they are these earrings that have little lightning bolts at the end. Um, and I thought that they were just really cute. You know, something with like a little flair, a little touch, because I am more of like a dainty, simple type of jewelry person, but I thought this can kind of add some some flair to like a second hole a third hole something of that nature um so yeah i thought these would be really really cute perfect for the summer and the last piece that i got was this chain and it's really really pretty and it says be you it is gorgeous it's like a shorter length necklace which I really really like it's perfect for layering if that's something that you're into which I'm really interested in doing so I think this would be the perfect kind of beginner piece to kind of start that layering process or a collection that you want to form so I love this is actually a really good weight it's not too heavy and it comes to a good 
length like this. I love that saying, be you. It's kind of like a friendly reminder, kind of be true to yourself. So I'm really, really loving this. I don't have that many necklaces in my collection, believe it or not. This is my second one that I have. So I'm really excited to kind of build that collection up, um, especially with out breaking the bank, you know? Like starting at $39, you really cannot go wrong with that. I do have a link down below that you can use to get 10% off your next order. And it's gonna be Faith L10 to get 10% off. All right, now that we have all our jewelry on and we're ready to go, we can now head out. It's about 10 and the farmer's market's open until 12. So I wanna go head out there first and then we can go thrift shopping. So let's come along. I love that mirror. This headboard. This is really nice. A ton of frames. This is really sweet. I love these like embroidered type of prints. That's a really pretty picture. It's a matching set. Ooh, I love that. I think I'm gonna get these. Yeah. 
Surgical treatments to repair and restore damaged tissue in your joints. With a long lasting relief from pain. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in its pain edge all natural options and the patient satisfaction reports are amazing. QC Kinetics has Oh wow, these are really heavy. These are really heavy. One of the owners, she restores furniture and paints them. And so I'm pretty sure this is one of her pieces, but she also sells the paint that she uses. And they're so beautiful.
was there, I also ran into this shop that sells candle and body care. Um, and her company is called Ever Glow. It was so cute. She does like coconut wax candles, so all natural, all natural products, um, or all natural body products that have no fragrance in them. Um, and that is owned by a black woman, which we love to see. So I got a candle and I got the body butter to kind of use as hand cream and foot cream for the, for the summer to make sure my feet are staying uh, moisturized and then my hands are always dry. So I always need a hand cream. So I got the lavender and coconut candle, which smells really good. So, or sorry, lavender and cotton candle. Um, and so usually lavender smells really earthy, but this one smelled really sweet. And I think that she said it had to do with the cotton kind of like mixed with it and, and paired well together to give it like this new unique smell, which it, it really does. It smells like, I can smell the cotton, but it also smells like sweet. It's interesting. So here's the body butter that I got. Um, and it's made of natural ingredients, shea butter, Jamaican black castor oil, coconut oil, and almond oil, which looks like it's whipped. It smells really like coconut pretty much and shea butter. And then I also got a whip trimmer, which is really cute. Never owned one of these before, but I've heard it's really, really good for your candles. Trying to be better about that and trying to have more natural scents in my house. Hi guys, it is the next day and I am coming at you with a haul of everything that I got. And I got the majority of prints and vases. Now, I also got some things to decorate the kitchen because eventually I want to get a bookshelf to kind of display some really cute trinkets and vases. The first thing that I got were these sets of these two prints. And I just thought that they were so beautiful. Just this really pretty, calm cabin like atmosphere in these really big frames thinking about rub and buffing these to change up the gold because i don't think this is real gold or anything um so you can just change up the color to make it look a little bit more authentic and so this was the other other picture they're just like sister pictures which is really pretty i also got these really pretty flower frames and they look like sculpture or pottery I, i'm not quite sure what's the best way to describe them but there are these two identical i believe or no they're they're a little bit different but they're two small really pretty frames and i thought they would look really good just like stacked together kind of like this or just somehow in a gallery wall um, and just these colors is so pretty. I love that like red and that teal. It's just gorgeous. I had to get it. And I got it from this shop at the antique store by this guy that was actually there. The owner was actually there and I got to speak with him and talk to him kind of like how he got into the business and you know, like where, what he's doing and, and kind of like the things that he is putting out there. And if there's other things that I'm looking for, he'd be willing to bring them out there for me. So yeah, it was really nice to kind of speak with him and get to know him a little bit more. It kind of felt a little bit more special to buy something from the shop after, you know, speaking to the person. So these, so pretty, so, 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 so pretty. I'm loving this tone and this color palette. So I'm excited about that. Also got this really beautiful vase and it's just a very simple vase with our pottery with a, a top on it um, But the colors are really pretty. It's kind of like a, a Blue with some brown and some taupe and a little bit of um, green undertones to it, which I Love I've been eyeing this for a few trips and I decided to get it um, 
I don't remember how much this cost, uh, but it's really pretty, really simple. Just something really simple to either put in a bathroom with some reusable face um, wipes or some, I don't know, some Q-tips, anything like that. It's, it's really simple, but really, really pretty and can make a statement in a room. The next thing that I got was this really, really beautiful chocolate brown and cream kind of like faces that you see in kitchens just look how delicious that color is like i am honestly so in love with it and it has like such a pretty pretty shape so it kind of fans out a bit with the handles and then gradually goes into this brown rich chocolate brown tone and it has a lid on it um, and then the inside is also chocolate brown. So it's kind of the tone that I was looking for in my kitchen, just having more of these like antique or just vases that kind of have this very chocolate cream tone in them. I think it's just so rich and brings such a great color into the kitchen. Um, so I've been loving these. I know that this was $20, um, but I've seen them for a wide variety of shapes and colors and um styles and prices and so 20 is about the usual price that i see especially for like this size um, but i'm going to show you also got another one that's pretty similar in the color palette and kind of like the idea but it's a little bit smaller and i got it for a little bit cheaper but this one is just beautiful i pass by them all the time and i just decided to Pull the trigger and get it um so i will be trying to collect some tones like this a little bit more similar to style our kitchen shelves when i eventually get that um, but yeah that one's really really pretty two other frames or pictures that i got at the same store was this one so you saw that there was a two pack or, or not a two pack but like two of frames that were the similar um, and they look like a pair and it's actually not vintage this says that it's from Kohl's and it was $30 and I think I got mine for 10 I think this was $10 but yeah I just really loved the the color of the picture in here so it's more of like a mauvey and a blue that that dark blue I, I've been drawn to recently so I've been loving that especially paired with like the red tone or the other mauvey tone and then the frame was blue which I thought was really really pretty that's really interesting not something that I've typically seen before so I'm loving that I'm really really loving that so I just picked up one to kind of pair in again with like a gallery wall in one of the bathroom or one of the bedroom makeovers and then you guys, this is my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite find that I found. I'm so excited over this. Look at this beautiful work of art. Mind you, this is a stitching. So on top of the fact that it's just beautiful and gorgeous and just a really pretty print but it was stitched in there and I am been obsessed with these like stitched prints like I've bought in a couple of them and I don't know it's just something about them that's just like really sweet and it has some texture to it I don't know it's just really really cool really unique and different so it has that beautiful like blue mauve green like those varying cooler tones um, but then it also brings in kind of like this chocolate and then the red that comes in there that just warms it up I am just loving I would say that this is probably like my color palette all in this frame right here like I truly truly obsessed with it it's just so beautiful I, I just I don't know not something I've ever seen before I think that this is most definitely going in our bedroom because I'm obsessed with it it makes me happy okay moving on to the ABC thrift store which you guys know is like one of my favorites I go there all the time I got this like copper teapot so it's called vintage Co copper coffee pot so it's just a I don't know just like a normal pot um and it just has like the 
the spout here for you to pour it out. I just thought that it was really, really pretty with like the wooden handle and the copperness of it. So it's not like a bright copper. It looks more like it's been patinaed or just, you know, aged over time. And I got this for $10. So again, one of the items that I want to put in my kitchen shelves when I style them. So they're kind of going for more like chocolate, rich copper type tones. I'm um, just, just bring some warmth in there. So yeah, I thought this is really, really pretty um, and in such a good price. So I was super excited to find this one. Going with the chocolate and cream base that I found, I also found this one. Look how cute it is. It's kind of like a similar shape to the other one, right? It's just, of course, smaller and it doesn't have a top. And this one actually has milk on it, which I thought was really, really cute. It really kind of shows its age in that. I'm not sure if it's vintage. There's no like, there's no year or anything on here, but it just gives that like look and that feeling and that vibe. Um, yeah, and it's just so pretty. Like I would think that, you know, these two together would just look so pretty. And so I'm really excited about that. That one, this one was only $4. So like you can have one like this size and get it a little bit cheaper or one like a larger size and it's a little bit more expensive. But again, I, I think like having different shapes, different sizes, but similar palettes will look really, really pretty and like pair well together, especially when you're styling like so many different shelves, you kind of have to like play around with different things that go around. A nice little sweet trinket that I found for my bathroom is this glass tray and it has a separator right here. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, I just thought that this was really pretty. It had a lot of detail in it. Um, and I've seen kind of some that are a little bit more ornate like this, but this one had such a pretty shape. So it was oval, which is something I've been looking for, but it also has the separator. So you can kind of like choose if you want to do like rings on one side and you know necklaces on the other or whatever you want to put on here. But I was picturing this being in my bathroom. Um, so I kind of wanted to have something like this to kind of bring in more design and texture in the room. And um, I don't know, just kind of like upscale it because our, our bathroom is more simple, but having something simple like this as like a tray for your jewelry but it has all this detail and design but it's it's glass so it's not like visually holding up space it's because it's something that you can see through so if, i don't know if that makes sense but like it's a design element in there but it's not visually seeming as if it's you know holding up space in a room or in an area so it doesn't feel cluttered but it's also holding a purpose and it's actually adding design and an element and a shine in there. So I really, really loved that. But the shape of it just really kind of, I don't know, just drew me into it, just having these handles. And I don't know, it was just really, really pretty. And I think we'll go well on a counter um, and kind of still keep it seeming like it's like clutter free and, you know, simple. But then just throwing this on there and kind of like, designing and, and holding things together and making it seem like it's like it has a place but like a pretty place to sit you know so i'm excited about this this is really really pretty if i don't do anything with it i can just stare at how beautiful it is so yeah i got that um and then the last thing that i got was just this very simple picture um of sage i thought that the the colors of it was really beautiful. It's this green tone with the wood accents. So again, bringing in that green and then those warm accents that are kind of warming it up and bringing in those warmer elements, which I'm really, really loving. And it has some purple in it. Um, it's just really, really pretty, really simple. I think it's gonna go well with my color palette. And if, you know, I don't put it in the bedrooms, then I will put it in our kitchen because I think it kind of pairs well with the herb. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just like a very simple, it was 250, you know, like how can I not get, it was only $2.50, so loving that. I mean, like if we were to just visually see all these together, come on, like how can you, how can you pass that up? So that was all of the items that I picked up yesterday on my trip. Yeah, I feel like it was very intentional, not just picking up anything, but 
kind of thought through what I wanted to get. So I hope you guys enjoyed all of the finds and just looking through all of the thrift stores and I always love thrift shopping. It brings me so much joy, but don't forget to use my code down in the description box and check out Anna Elisa to get some jewelry pieces that you've just been wanting to add to your collection, but just holding off. They have some great quality pieces for an affordable price point. Again, remember their jewelry starts at $39 and they're sustainable. Um, they are carbon neutral and just a really great brand overall. So my code and my link would be down in the description box. It's Faith L10 for 10% off. Thank you guys for coming along. Stay tuned for the bedroom makeovers. They are currently in the works. Both of them are in the works right now. I've just been working on so many projects and not editing the videos. So I'm now going to take a pause to take some time out to edit them, to kind of get them out to you guys. But you guys can kind of see what my color palette is and where my design is going just based on the things that I picked up from the thrift store. So it gives you a little sneak peek on what I am doing. But yeah, it was so great spending time with you guys. I love doing this and I will see you in a video very, very soon. It will not be a video like this. It will most likely be a bedroom makeover. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Bye.